Hey guys, rare footage of me starting a vlog when it's kind of nighttime, but I decided to start vlogging because we are gonna go get some food. We're gonna go get some sushi. And I am just, I have missed sushi so much. Chelsea just texted me today actually, and she was like, have you had a deli sandwich yet since you've not been pregnant? I know some people like don't care. They'll eat deli meat or they'll eat sushi, but I didn't eat either of those things my whole pregnancy. I have been missing both of those things. And I replied to her and I was like, yes, I have had many sub sandwiches already since not being pregnant. She was like, same. I haven't had very much sushi though since. So we're going to go get some food, get some dinner. It is a family outing. We got the entire crew, Leif, me, Benny, lady, we're all going. I have been promoted to backseat princess instead of passenger princess. And I just ordered actually a little like car mirror thing to go back here so that I can see her like I could be in the passenger seat But we could see her, you know, but we don't have a mirror or a monitor or anything yet So I just like to be back here with her, you know, see what's going on And it's honestly just kind of fun to be back here with her and she just I put my finger out and She just holds my finger with her little hand and it's so cute and sweet Slay daddy I'm trying to show you guys my zip up hoodie. It says Valley Girl. Okay, sorry if you hear Lady Band. <laughs> when she gets excited, sometimes she like pants. Anyway, this is our new merch that's launching so soon. It is so comfy and the quality is amazing. It's like a very thick, nice hoodie. And we have shorts that go with it and we have some t-shirts. Everything is super like the quality is really, really good. It's like very thick and structured. It's just super nice. So anyway, I'm in love with this. I feel like I'm just gonna like reach for this 24 seven because it's like a neutral and it's so comfy and oversized. I just love it. Come here, lady, come here. Lady is pulling so uh, it's loud here. I feel like my last clip might have been blurry. I don't know. I just looked and saw that my autofocus, or it was like on manual focus. So uh, I don't know if it was blurry, but can you see the hoodie? Would that be a hoodie or a jacket? A zip up hoodie. Because it has a hood. I like to have it unzipped and kind of, you know, show some skin. We're waiting for our food. I am starving. First up is this salmon taco. Lemon. So good on it. These are my... <laughs> I am so beyond excited right now. This looks amazing. Me and Leif got the same rolls. And then he also got that one. <laughs> It is a very exciting day. My Thrive Market package came in and there's nothing better than getting snacks and groceries delivered to your front door without having to go to the grocery store. I actually already opened this because I needed baby wipes and I knew that I ordered these on Thrive Market. I ordered some of the honest baby wipes. And wow, I didn't know how many diapers and wipes you go through. It's a lot, so it's always nice to have some extra on hand. Thrive Market has a lot of baby products, and if your child's a little bit older and is like starting to eat food and snacks and stuff, they have a ton of like healthy options with good ingredients. For kids, they have stuff for pets. A lot of times I'll get lady like treats and stuff when I do a Thrive Market haul. And what I mostly order, I feel like is snacks because they have so many good snacks. And also, especially if you don't have like health food grocery stores around you and you're wanting to do like healthy swaps for some of your favorite snacks, I highly recommend ordering because they just have so many good options. So I got some stuff that I've already tried and some stuff that I have not tried. I got this Nut Pods Almond and Coconut toasted marshmallow creamer. I feel like that would be so good in matcha. The matcha collab that Chelsea and I did for the podcast, it's like a marshmallow sweet cold foam that goes on top and it's so good with the matcha. So thought maybe I could kind of recreate that at home. I also got these little protein shakes. These are some of my favorite little like just grab and go snacks. 20 grams of protein, dark chocolate. Me and Lake both love these. I feel like it's an easy thing to like add to a breakfast or just grab 
when you're in a hurry. Get some protein in, it's delicious. Literally tastes like a chocolate, just like a chocolate milk. Chomps, duh. I also got some hand soap because we ran out in our bathroom. So I've never tried this brand, but it's coconut vanilla foaming hand soap. And ooh, that smells delicious. Okay, one of my recent obsessions are these little fruit gummies. Um, the brand is Soli. These are the mango and guava ones. They're so good. They literally have two ingredients, mango and guava. Organic mango, organic guava. And I love them. Some of my friends give them to their kids too as like little fruit snacks. They're delicious. And they're one of my favorite little snacks to have in my purse. I also got pop chips, just the sea salt kind. Delish. And I got this new flavor of my favorite little Toto plant-based cookies. They have protein and fiber in them. These are the birthday cake flavor. I have not tried them. I've only tried the chocolate chip. And I think it's like salted chocolate chip. Maybe there's another flavor too. That's my little snack haul and my soap and my diaper or my baby wipes. When you are shopping online on Thrive Market, it's so easy to like curate your shopping experience. It's just, you can go based off of like if you follow a specific diet, if you're vegan or you want gluten-free stuff, it's very easy to shop. You don't have to be like scanning for ingredients. You can just kind of filter through your shopping experience, which is so nice. They also have over a thousand restricted ingredients from their food, baby, cleaning products. So they have really high standards. You know you're going to be getting like high quality products and ingredients, which is important to me, obviously, especially having a baby. You just want good ingredients. So I'm gonna put my code, my link on the screen. I'll also put it in the description so it's super easy to click for you guys. But you can join Thrive Market today to get 30% off your first order and a free gift up to $60, which is awesome. So check that out. I'm opening my little fruit snacks. Today has been a podcasting day for me. On those days, I like to stock up with lots of snacks in my purse because Chelsea and I always can't stop talking. So we're there longer than I think we're up. We're always there longer than I think we're gonna be there. Hello, sorry about this choppy vlog guys. It's the next day. My friend Mandy is in town. She lives in Utah and she wants to meet Benny and see my house and everything. So I'm gonna meet her over at my house in like 10 minutes. And then I think Chelsea's also gonna meet me at my house to come see the progress. She hasn't been over there in a while. So also, well Leif is surfing right now with Keaton, but he's about to be back and then we're gonna go together. We are also gonna see some updates because they installed some extra marble in our bathroom. I'll show you when we get there. And I'm really excited about it. This is a disaster. I need to clean up. I've been taking care of my girl and doing some work stuff. When she was napping, I was editing photos for, from the what we said merch photo shoot and I've been trying to like kind of, I don't know, do some fun little creative stuff with the editing. So I kind of like lost track of time and the whole time she was napping, I was basically doing that. And then I was like, oh, my house is a disaster. So I need to clean up when we get home. Yeah, that's the plan for today. I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. I got it all from We Wore What and I was just hoping that it would fit trying to figure out my sizes postpartum. But anyway, it's just this black, kind of like workout tank. I feel like I could work, wear it to work out or just like for every day. And then just like this little set. Man, okay, I don't have a full length mirror, but <laughs> that's what it looks like. It's kind of just like a cute athleisure set. It's really comfy. Yeah, I like it. I am pleasantly surprised that it fits. I got a few other things too I can show you guys later. <sighs> Look how bright and light this space is. Here's a little house update, guys. Um, we got these doors painted. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys in the vlogs last week, but we got these doors painted green and I love them. We just need to put the hardware on, which we actually have, but we don't, there's a part that we are missing still. So also this light fixture. Oh, I think I showed that to you guys that my mom got for us at a garage sale is so cool. I love it. I don't know if I already said this, but um, the uh, sink that I ordered for our guest bathroom was like this dark blue concrete sink. It was so cool. And I felt like it was really kind of like the main cool part of the bathroom along with the tile. It really just like pulled everything together. And then it was too big for the space. So we had a miscommunication and it just like it's too big. So I am so sad about it, but I emailed the company and um, I'm gonna order a different sink that's a little bit smaller in that same blue color. And I think it'll be really, really pretty once we get it in there. But that being said, it's probably gonna take them a month or two to make it and then ship it to us. It's coming from the UK. If we wanna move in, obviously we need a sink there to like have it be a working bathroom and have it pass code and all of that. So 
We just got our random sink from Home Depot to put in there. That being said, I have to do the disclaimers before I show you guys. And also the shower head and valve thing are not what they're gonna be. So there's a few things that aren't perfect, but I do wanna show you the bathroom anyway. Here's the floor. The sink doesn't look bad, honestly. Like it's cute enough, right? It's fine. But here's the bathroom and my little light fixture that I love so much. Again, it's gonna probably have to move over and you still need to get a mirror and then we'll have that dark blue sink, but it's gonna be so coastal and fun. Also, this is from Zara Home, little uh, paper towel holder. I love the finish of it. It's like kind of a brushed dark, I don't know if that's bronze or brass, but I like it. They're gonna install that over there. I think probably in the next day or two. But yeah, I'm loving these doors. I'm loving the light coming through. Love it all. <laughs> Lay this feeding Benny <laughs> in the kitchen nook. I love this color as I was going to film. It's not good. Yeah. So we just showed our house to Mandy and then Keaton came over and Chelsea came over. So we were just having a little party here. Um, showing all the updates but i was planning on like making a few i've just been kind of making some little like tiktok videos i want to get do we have a lavalier mic like a little mic i feel like i brought one it's been so hard we don't have just our normal stuff you guys know because we're living in that airbnb and like there will just be things that i'll think of like oh i should i don't know i can't even think of something right now like you can have one. Is that one? really yeah maybe we, i can borrow it but anyway i was like it would be fun to have like a mic for my TikTok videos, you know, to like. Oh, uh, like hold it? Yeah, or have it. Yeah, I was just thinking, you know, like those little mini mics yeah. people have, or like clip it to my shirt so that I can like walk away and it's not as yeah. quiet. But I've just been making little videos kind of explaining like the processes. I've been like inspired to make them. So I want to keep making them, just kind of showing like little details of our house or updates. Like I wanted to make a video of kind of the special touches that we added to our house that I feel like or maybe like inconvenient but worth it. Just things like that. I have a few different like concepts in mind and then I wanted to make a video showing an update on our bathroom. I thought that the marble would be more done and there's two pieces that weren't done which I feel like were crucial for me like making the video. And then the people that do the marble actually just pulled up and are here working on it right now. Um, they usually don't work today so I, we weren't expecting them to be here but they're working overtime for us since, they, since we're trying to move into this house like immediately. So that's really nice. But anyway, that being said, I can't really go in there and film because they're in there working now. So I was gonna show you guys an update, but I'll insert some videos or photos of the stone in there. It looks so amazing. I'm so happy with it. It's just, it's scary, you guys. It's scary renovating a house. It's scary not knowing if it's gonna come together or, you know, how it's gonna look. And it is so just nice when it comes together, <laughs> how you actually envisioned it. What like main things have we, <laughs> what main things have we um, missed the mark on? Like messed up and we're like, okay, that was I mean, I guess anything messed up, we've kind of yeah. had them redo it or made it right at this point. I'm trying to think of examples of things. Well, uh -huh. I can think of a huge one, obviously the, the skylight thing was like crazy. Yeah. That was like a huge mistake that, um. This, I'll go into that. This door, this window crank mm. is centered with our. Oh yeah, wait. We should chill. We should chill on that faucet, so you can't like fully use it to its full potential. It's kind of inconvenient. Yeah, I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, if we if we made that window just like three inches smaller on the bottom, it would totally work. Mm. But we wanted the window to be low and just bit as big as we could make it. Yeah. I mean, we've had a lot of like little hiccups, obviously. Like if you've renovated a house, you know, it's just, you're never gonna have it just be perfect. By the way, one of the hiccups is actually that the AC is insanely loud, so yeah, well, you might be noticing that while I'm filming. We're still gonna try to fix that. figure that out. For some reason, it's like when it's on, by where the intake is, it's just like really loud. Yeah. So we're gonna try to see if we can fix that. It can't be perfect. And also, it's like we started this whole process like not planning to do like as much as we ended up doing. Yeah. So then it was kind of like, okay, let's add this on, but then we it basically, affects other parts of what we were planning on doing. 
this is how the process went. Our contractor was like, here's the estimate of how much it'll be to do like the things that you want. Cause we had told him, you know, we walked through the house with him initially and we're like, you know, we want to change this. We want to add this, whatever. And he gave us like a quote and was like, okay, this is about how much it'll be. Um, and then we we're like, oh wow. Yeah. Like let's do less just cause it's like expensive to do everything that we, we basically threw out everything we would ever want to do to the house. Like the fact that we want a pool in the backyard eventually, like everything. And anyway, we are like, okay, like let's take some of the stuff away so that it's like a little, you know, we can afford to do it all. And then throughout the process, like we just keep adding more. Like we took a bunch away and we're like, okay, don't do any of that. And then like, as we've been renovating, we're like, oh, well, let's just do it. Like certain things. And I feel like now we're ending up doing like more than we were ever even going to do. Like in the first place, we literally were like, oh, let's walk, knock a few walls down. We weren't planning on doing an addition, which that's like a huge part of the house. I'm so glad we did it, but that's a huge, you know, addition to the plan that we weren't initially planning on. And then, yeah, we've just done certain details that have been like just way more time consuming. One of them being the smooth texture walls and no baseboards. So we did those, both those things are really time consuming because they have to do all these layers to make sure that it's smooth. And then with the no baseboards thing, normally you can like, there's room for error, you know, like at the bottom because you're gonna have a baseboard, but when there's, it's just gonna be the floor, they have to make it smooth and perfect down to the bottom. And so it's super tedious. So that was another thing that we chose to do that, I mean, I'm so, again, so glad we did it. Like, I think it's so worth it, but it was like an extra thing time, money, all of it. So anyway, I do want to make like a whole video once we move in, going around and like talking about, I think that's what I should do. I'll make that video when we actually move in, like talking about things we learned, what we would do differently, maybe think good things that I think were so worth it, whatever. And then once we li actually live here for a while, I feel like I'd have even more insight of like, oh, that really wasn't worth it. Or like, oh, that was such a good decision that we did. Blah, blah, blah. I'll show you the sink, like kind of a mistake that was like an oversight. I don't really know who to blame it on. I don't know if it's us. I don't know if it's the window people. I don't know if it's the contractor, but I'll show you. So, well, first of all, here's our little faucet. It's actually the same faucet that my mom has and she really recommended it. So I decided to copy her and get that. But basically this is a crank out window. So it goes like this and we wanted it to be able to open for sure. Like we wanted to be able to get some airflow in here through the kitchen and yeah, just be able to open it. The problem is this crank hits this when you go to crank it open. So um, you can't like fully crank it because it will just hit the hit this. But if you kind of do it like a roundabout way, let me see if I go to do this. Oh, it's locked. I have to unlock these, I forgot. If I go to crank it, see how it just hits that? But we figured out that if you just kind of go down and then to the side, it cranks slower, but it still works. So that's a little bit annoying. Like that's just something that, you know, we're gonna have to deal with. It's not that big of a deal, but it takes, you know, maybe it would take three to five seconds if it was done correctly. But for us, it's gonna take like 10 seconds. So that's an example of something that we like messed up on or was just a mistake. Basically, if you're wondering, the solution was like, they were like, okay, we can move this faucet like to the side, like it just wouldn't be centered. And then you can like crank it or you can just have it be a little more inconvenient. I chose to have it be a little bit more inconvenient because I just feel like I don't want it to be not centered. I just feel like if that was over to the side, it would look kind of weird. So whatever, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's something that we'll, I feel like we'll get used to very fast and we'll just be like, oh, this is not a big deal. But, oh, I think I told you guys that these cabinets are wrong on the corners. So there's like little things, whatever. It is what it is. Most of it is has been done like exactly how we want and stuff and definitely good enough for us to just like move in. So I'm so excited to vlog in this house. You guys have no idea. And I feel like we're gonna move in in the next like two weeks. I don't wanna jinx it, but I feel like that's gonna happen. Stay tuned for that. I really have nowhere to set you guys, which is kind of annoying me because, well, I was setting you on this, but now I wanna show you guys and talk about it. But we got this bottle warmer from Amazon. It's basically, well, it warms up the water to like whatever um, temperature you want 
for your baby's bottle. And then you can just bring formula. Where are the little formula things? If you're formula feeding, obviously. I actually think you can you can use it for breastfeeding too, right? Because you can like heat up your breast milk. Yeah. If you bring like frozen, you can like keep frozen or whatever refrigerated breast milk in there and then you can heat it up on the go if like you pump or whatever. But anyway, these little uh, containers, you just put the formula in there and then you mix it together in a bottle. And I've been loving it. I got it from Kristen, actually, her storefront. She had, had it on her Amazon storefront, and I was, like, texting her. Actually, we were FaceTiming, and I was like, what do I need for formula feeding? Because she has experience doing, like, all types of, like, breastfeeding, pumping, and formula feeding. And I was like, what do I need? And she was like, oh, you should get this bottle warmer. Anyway, so I went on her storefront, but then I just added it to mine, too. And I have been going through all the baby stuff that I actually use, like, there was a lot of stuff on my registry or things that I was like, oh, this looks good or this looks useful or my friends had recommended me. Um, and so I've been taking stock of like, oh, I actually use this, whatever it is, like every single day. It's just stuff like this, like this on the go hatch, like sound machine thing, the like white noise, those formula things, the diaper and wipes we use, the like changing mats, whatever, just all of the stuff I use. I put it on a list just called baby on my Amazon thing the storefront so i will link that for you guys if you have like anyone in your life who's pregnant or if you need like baby shower gifts that are useful and cute or if you yourself are like in the market for any of that stuff i know that i would have appreciated that i was literally shopping all my friends amazon storefronts who are moms before i gave birth and then yeah so anyway i made that list if you guys want to look at it in my mom era and you guys know i will always tell you the best stuff that you need I'm trying to think if there's anything else in here. I've been using this this base diaper bag, which I can probably link to. It's just like black leatherish. This part's like leather. Um, I really like all the compartments. I've loved it so far. So that was not available on Amazon though, but maybe I can link this separately. For any of my mamas out there, at lunch, got this little lemonade. My parents are coming into town. They actually just landed. Leif and I are gonna go pick them up. Leif, Benny, and I actually, the whole crew. I wanted to show you guys our merch. I showed you the hoodie already. These are the shorts. They have this piping on the sides. And I feel like this cut is very flattering the way it like kind of goes up a little bit. I have to say though, size up if you buy these. These are size medium and like they were pretty tight on me. I felt like I could maybe go for a large even. So they run small, size like one to two sizes up. And then we have two different t-shirt options. They're so like thick and structured, but not too thick. They're just really good quality. And it says what we said on the front and then the back is so cute. It has this little Valley Girls design, established 1995. That's when both Chelsea and I were born. And then we have that same t-shirt just in this colorway. And I actually feel like this is cute for boys too. Well, it says Valley Girls on it, but I was telling Leif that he should wear this because it's like a good color. I mean, the boys could wear either color, but I wanted to show you guys a little sneak peek of those. Um, I've been editing the photos, like I said, and I'm gonna post them on the Instagram. So just follow our what we said Instagram. If you are interested in the merch, it launches on Tuesday. So like two days from when you're seeing this, it's August, what is that? I don't know the date, but if you're watching this on time, then it's in like two days. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna go grab my parents. I don't really even know what our plan is, but they come a lot of times just like for the day because my mom works for the airlines, as you guys know. And so they're able to fly easily and yeah it's really nice so we're probably gonna go get some food and definitely go see the house as normal that's like our routine when they come and then we'll probably just come back here and chill that'll be a nice chill day don't mind the um sound machine i feel like the background of my vlogs are about to be noisy also i looked back at that footage and the ac was so loud when yeah, i was in our house car seat anyway oh, we are going it. to lunch with my parents and we're going back where we were yesterday. We're gonna get some burgers, round two. And yeah, we just went to the house, but I feel like I've given you guys enough house updates in this video. So I didn't vlog while we were there, but everything's still pretty much the same. Actually, I should have vlogged the marble. I forgot to, but I made a whole in-depth video for either I'll post on TikTok or Instagram. So you guys can go maybe see it on there. I had been um, compiling that video, explaining the entire Kendall Jenner saga. It literally took me like, 
hours to get those screenshots all in one place again. So I posted on TikTok and Instagram. If you guys want to see it, the whole JC Jenner conspiracy theory explained all in one place for your convenience. Our house is full of Valley Girls. We just went and got my Valley Girl drink, and then I was making <laughs> Benny a little bottle in the car. I was like, oh wow, this fits perfectly actually. So I've decided that I am bringing this everywhere with me this summer. I've been trying to just like always have my film camera in my purse. I feel like a lot of times I'll take up my film camera to do like a photo shoot if I, it's like, okay, we're going to like take pictures. But I always wish I had it when we're just like actually living life. So I've been bringing it, like I brought it to the fair when we went and I just put it in my purse. I brought it to lunch with us and I took a few photos of like Benny and my parents today. I don't know, I just love having memories on film. So yeah, I've been trying to take way more pictures. It's probably honestly that I I think the reason I feel rejuvenated is just because I want to document more of her growing up and like I don't know just all these moments and I just love film so much and I also want to print a bunch of a bunch more photos in our house um, than I have in the past like in our other houses I swear I just like we didn't have any photos of us like we had one picture of me and life in our house and I feel like we just have so many so many pictures and memories that I want to be in this next house so anyway i'm just trying to be better at documenting i just dropped off my parents at the airport um we honestly had a very chill day we just picked them up from the airport went straight to our house went to lunch came back and just talked i actually wait i do want to show you guys this i um put together like a little mood board for uh benny's nursery because i have had like no my mind has not been on decorating like i've been saying i've just been trying to get all these details done in our house before we actually like so we can actually move in and then i'm like gonna think about all the decorating but anyway my while my mom was here i was just like asking her some questions and we were kind of like making a little mood board on canva and i think it turned out so cute i will show you guys that okay this is what i put together i don't know if this is hard to see these are kind of this is kind of what i'm thinking so this is kind of a neutrally pink paint that i want to do and then i want to do some walls in this yellow and white uh wallpaper and then i have this cute floral rug these are curtains that are like scalloped and I just think that detail is so cute. And then this is the rocking chair we have that I'm obsessed with. These are little hooks from Zara Home. That's kind of hard to see, but they have like all different little knobs, colored knobs, and they're super cute. And then this is the, t the kind of crib that I was looking at. We'll see if I get one like that. And then this shelf is so cute. It's like a rattan shelf that you can hang and do like books and stuff here's kind of what we're going for and then you guys can see it hopefully come to life one of my favorite things to do is make mood boards and things like this for especially house stuff it has helped me visualize things so much that's like how i knew well how i hoped that um my like countertop countertops would match my floor and stuff like that because i just brought it into canva and like made a little collage of all of it to see the different colors together and i've done that so much with just so many different things like for our house for different photo shoots if i have outfits i feel like otherwise it would be very hard for me to put a room together if i didn't kind of catch a vibe for it first here so that's been really nice i liked i liked getting that together because now i kind of have a vision of what it will look like um otherwise i feel like i would just be very scatterbrained trying to like design stuff so i'm really excited about that i think it'll be really really cute and i will keep you guys updated on that process and yeah i'm hoping that we can get this final inspection for our house asap and then move in and i kind of forgot we have to like move <laughs> like i know that's obvious but i'm like oh wow we have to do this whole thing again like pack up the boxes and do the whole thing which i'm not complaining i'm very excited but kind of didn't like i don't know i haven't even been thinking about that aspect of it um so that's gonna be a little bit chaotic with a newborn but It'll be so fun and so worth it. So anyway, um, I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. We have a lot going on. Thank you so much for all your support on like my birth video and just everything. It's been so nice to be back vlogging and you guys are just always the best. I really appreciate and love you all so much. So I will see you in next week's vlog. I love you. Goodbye.